Hey everybody, thanks for wandering back out to the Digital Hermitage. I'm the Hermit, you can call me Hiccup, and this is my buddy Timely Crow. Thanks again for joining us for our Elden Ring playthrough, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Elden Ring. Lift up the Elden Ring. The T in your mask are driving me crazy right now. Become the Elden Bat. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously though, it did like spread your cloak out. You look like some winged creature. That's kind of awesome. Uh, yeah. Anyway, everybody, we're still hanging out in the Altus Plateau, but uh, we're not going to continue up here. Uh, Timely has found something that caught his interest, and we're going to follow his lead on this episode. We'll come back up here after this little adventure and continue our way back down, because we do want to track down this dungeon right here. Which, by the way, I would like to point out, I noticed that when we activated this little marker to be like, you know, show us our way, it's got the little blue line, like, going that way, like, go that way, check that out. If you zoom all the way out... And Oh, am I crazy? Maybe I'm crazy. I swear there's one other one on the map that's still doing that for us that we never found. And, mm. I, and I thought I knew where it was, but, <laughs> but now I can't find it. We may have tripped across the dungeon. I don't know. Possibly. All right, never mind. My question is, where's the map for the center? <laughs> Like the ocean. <laughs> oh, that's a good question, actually. Like, why? Yeah, why black that out? Why not show us? Yeah. Okay, what's, okay. What's there? Anyway, enough of me rambling. Timely says this is going to be really jarring, so I'm really excited to see where it's going. I don't know. Can it be any more jarring than those floating chunks of rock and empty nothingness that we were in once upon a time? Do you remember that? Or was I just, like, hallucinating? <laughs> Chunks of rock, empty nothingness. We were like on rocks being levitated in the sky, looking at something else, hopping between floating chunks of debris. Oh. It was wild. It was wild. Yeah, I know. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Um, that's going to be... I hope we get to return to that. Me too. Anyway, I'll shut up. I'll let you, uh, I'll let you take the wheel, man. Where are we going? So... Um... These are just things that I have found. I've, I've kind of been saving them up. Uh, and I think we are to the point where we can, it'll be a little bit more cohesive. Okay. Um, but uh, so follow me. We're going to go back to Lyrnia and do the folly of folly on the lake. Uh, that's the a grace that's, to the south of the Rose Church. So if you go south of Raya Lucaria Academy, um, you'll 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 come across Folly on the Lake. Got it, Folly on the Lake. Okay. Mm, been a while. Grab... Pop. Um. So let's just travel north. Okay. Oop, oop. I'm gonna breathe some rot real quick for no reason. <laughs> You and those dragon breaths. You're as bad as me in uh, Valheim with taking my helmet off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just so, so often, you just hear it in the background. Like, oh, there's Timely. There he is. One of these days, I'm going to do that look over my shoulder, and it'll be an actual dragon, and I'll, he'll get the drop on me. Yeah, <laughs> right. Runes? Have we been here? I feel like we've been here. Maybe not. No, I don't think I've been to the Rose Church. What is this? Oh, hello. Ow! Ow! Okay. Oh, that's a creepy little enemy. Hmm. Didn't get anything? I thought for no. sure he dropped something. Hmm. Well, you might... Okay. This isn't doing it. Uh, let's try something else. Uh, to the north. Um, main gate 
main academy gate in uh, Raya Lucaria. Main academy gates. There it is. Yeah, were we not triggering something or? Possibly. We might return there real quick. Do you see anything right here? Yeah, there's a red summon sign. Uh -huh. Should we summon it? Oh, it, oh, where? Okay. I didn't. I didn't say I wanted to be taken any. What, we're invaders. We are invaders. <laughs> well, let's, let's go defeat this bloody finger. What has happened? This is so weird. Oh, I can target you. Ooh, can we hurt each other? This could be bad. <laughs> Tear him to pieces. No! Oh, I can! Oh, we can. We oh, can hurt no. each other. <laughs> That's dangerous. Nice! This guy. Do you, do you remember this guy? Yeah, oh yeah. He helped us, uh, yeah. he's one of the, he's the guy that helped us get those daggers you started the game with and carried with you forever. That Redubia Ever. dagger yeah. was awesome. Yeah. No, yeah, he's helped us out before. Okay, that was weird. <clears throat> I know, right? Raptor of Yeah, I had that sitting there and I was like, uh, let's, let's return to there. Um. Okay. Let's see. Oh. I think we got separated. Yeah. All right, where to I next? Just, I just want to check and see if this is all said and done. And it, do you see that? I do not. Oh no, I do. I see him. Okay. Hello, friend. Can we talk to him. Oh, oh, it's you. Thanks for your help, there. That bloody finger was a thorn in my side. Are you uh, hearing him? No. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and talk Here's to him. A token of thanks. Please take it. I may not have much time. I'm dying to see you, Eleonora. Huh. Violet bloody finger. Violet bloody finger. Yes, I've been tracking Eleonora for quite some time. She is the deadliest of all bloody fingers. She's felled many an old hand already, but in spite of her cess blood zealotry, Eleonora is a proud knight. If she comes for you, do not think twice. You must flee. You must flee. No shame in your self preservation. Be on your way. Perhaps we will meet again. If fate permits. Gloomy. Well, now I want to go try this Eleonora. I have an idea of where she is. Let's go get her. Let's go get her. All right. Meet me at the Altus Highway Junction. Um, it is to the west of Stormcaller Church. Got it. There you go. Altus... We're running around in Altus. I can keep track of one area at a time. Yeah. <laughs> Eleonora, huh? The bloodiest of bloody fingers. <laughs> Whatever that means. She stands no chance against the tree and moon knight. Tree and moon knight. All right. I won't know where to look if she's not here, though, so... Well, fingers crossed. Okay. <laughs> uh, how did I get down? I think you can just make yeah, that. I was going to say, this looks... This kind of looks survival. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. It's good. Made my gut tense up, but I'm good. <laughs> Hello! Second Church of Me... Oh, our buddy's here. 
And he looks like he's dying. Eleonora. It seems I am no match for you, but I've learned a thing or two myself. You see, I've sliced the finger off. Please. Please. Eleonora. Yield to the cesspit no longer. Oh Do no. Oh, you got his sword. That's beautiful. Nice sword. Oh, it's you, dragon. Ooh. Oh, no. All right. Come and get it. Stop that. <laughs> I don't know if I can do that, too. <laughs> he may be the Moon Knight, but there's still some dragon in there. Ooh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, bring her to me. <laughs> Go ahead, have your flask. Go ahead. <laughs> oh my gosh, we are unstoppable. I bet she's a proper nightmare in single player. Oh lord. Eleanor's purifying crystal tear. Oh my gosh. If that crystal tear removes like all status effects, I will be more than happy to use that. We'll okay. see. Yeah, we've picked up a couple of cool weapons. Wow, look at that little nasty twin blade. Blood blade dance. That's awesome! And we also got the Na Nagakiba. Look at this thing. Make a powerful thrust that cannot be blocked. Ooh, sneaky. Uh. Sneaky dog. Well, that was epic. That was a really tough NPC. Even with both of us wailing on it, it had to, like, we had to be relentless. That thing had some, she had some health. Yeah, right. Um, go read with that, uh, purifying crystal tear. Where do they hide those? This one? This one. Purifies the Lord's blood curse. The Lord of Blood's curse? What does that even mean? Um, I'm gonna, let's see. Let's try this real quick. Um, Should we just make it and do it? I'm gonna sever from you real quick. Um... You let's see, hold on, let's, let's go down. Let's go go back let's go back down to Folly on the lake. Okay. And then I'm gonna all sever there. Possibly. We'll see. I'll do this, yeah. I'll, I'm gonna sever. You right up. Well before before you ride up, actually. Uh, uh, after I sever, one sec. Do, do, do. And then right up to the Rose Church. Is this the Rose Church? I might have gone a little off course. There was a big old crab. Mm. This, uh, this looks like it, I think. I think we've by her. I think we've joked about it before, but uh the health increase in multiplayer is quite significant. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm at the Rose Church. Alright, go out to the entrance. Oh, hang on, that thing's summoned again. Come and get it, creep. Alright. I'm at the entrance. Oh, hello. Anybody out there? Yeah. Ah, there you are. Vero. You came I haven't even room thought about him. And forever. had your audience with the two fingers at the round table hole. What does he what was your impression? say? 
He wanted me. He wa uh, He wanted. He wants to know what I thought of everybody at the round table hold. Huh. Honestly, I have no opinion. I haven't been doing much with anybody at the round table hold other than leveling up. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll say they're magnificent. I have no reason to think that they're bad people. You don't say. Well, what a relief that must be. You may go then. My work here is done. May the wisdom of the two fingers guide you. Why does he seem so sad? He was just like, well, good. My job here is done. May the wisdom of the two fingers guide you. Why do, why do you sound so sarcastic? <laughs> oh. What happens if you keep talking to him? He oh. just goes, oh, is something, something wrong? And then, he, and then it gives me the option to say, the two fingers seemed off. I'm tempted to uh, say, just to see what he says. Yeah, just just so we, for the sake of joining up on the same quest, maybe. Okay. Uh -huh. yeah, they seemed off. Your intuition serves you well. My doubts had been piling up, you see. The words of the two fingers cannot be trusted. Truly, naught but rambling, senile delusions. I believe... But when the Elden Ring was shattered, the two fingers were corrupted, their guidance skewed. Even worse, the fingers harbor no love for our kind. That's the part that irks the most. Oh, the fingers don't love us tarnished, huh? Oh, I have a gift for you. Something a gift? fit only for the wise. I don't know if I'm very wise. What? That's not wise. I don't invade people. A means for circumventing the draw of the two fingers. Give it a try, won't you? And if it please you, may we meet again. I've high hopes for you, my lambkin. You just Let's call me a lambkin. Here. I'm gonna punch you. Be sure to try. Yeah, he likes to call us lambs. It's pretty funny. By grace, forsaken by the two. Your loyalty. Weird. Okay. I don't like Vare. Creep. I kind of want to fight him. Bring it. Fight you. Um. Oh, are you gonna fight him? No. Oh, okay. No, I figure that'll <laughs> interrupt the storyline or whatever we're trying to follow. So I'm not gonna do that, but. Normally, yeah, yeah. I would. I just, I just, I'd look at the camera and say straight up. I w after that conversation, I'd be like, "Ah, you're gonna lose some teeth." I'm gonna lose some teeth. All right, where are we going next? All right, I will meet you. I believe we went to these. Huh. Uh, you want to? Um, I'm gonna teleport to the up, back up the Altus Plateau. Okay. The highway uh, junction, the, or uh, let's go to the road of inquiry side path. It's it's uh below the um windmills, the three windmills. Got it. Don't mind us. We're on an adventure. That's the best kind of adventure. <laughs> <laughs> the real adventure was the friends we made along the way. <laughs> Wow, look at this ruined place. Alright, so where's the mod that turns, you know, Elden Ring into like a survival game where I can craft and build and collect materials? <laughs> Why are there so many? Be gone with you beasts! Stop it, dog. Ooh, nice. Ooh. Okay. What was that dungeon back there? Were we gonna dive in there? Or not dungeon, Time. but there were stairs. Hi, pupper. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, 
Mm. Are you looking for this? What are we I found another one of those red summon signs. Ooh, yeah. All right. I don't know. All this invading stuff makes me feel queasy. Uh, red and you. I think you have to hit it. Ugh, gross. Yeah, if you can see, you couldn't see the sign in my world. Uh, I could see it, but um, I'm I'm on a different part of the quest, I think. So I think it's you have to do it. Oh, do I just need to go ahead and just do this one? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, guys, I gotta go ahead and drop in here and fight whatever challenge in here is on my own. Time for you to back me up. What is that? Magnus the Beast Claw. Oh man, you hit hard. All right, let's do it. Ooh, I like your abilities. Oh, would you weigh me down or something? Not, not cool. Bam. Whoa, some of these abilities he's got are pretty wicked. I need to make a beast character. Actually, I have been. Um, my wife loves werewolves. I've been kind of trying to make a werewolf character. He's got beast claws and a fur cloak and everything. Oh, nice. Dude, Magnus, we need to talk about this. Magnus. Ah! Okay. Oh my goodness. That was ridiculous. He was a tough guy. Oh, you got him? Oh, yeah. All right. The Great um, Stars and a Swimmer Smithing Stone 6. That doesn't help me. Um, Go on back to that Rose Church and talk to Mr. Sarcastic. <laughs> All right. Vare. Yeah, I haven't done like any any of this little side quests for the NPCs. I just kind of get curious sometimes. I run around and poke them. Like, you got anything for me? I might be more inclined to do them all and record it all if they didn't talk so long. My gosh. Nah. <laughs> they all have that slow cadence and they take their time and there's a lot of dot 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 and breathing yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay rose church is that creepy dude gonna rise up out of the blood again I'll fight him again heck yeah I'm just gonna fight you every time I come here chump he can't break my poise I love that Hit me. I dare you. Alright, Vare. Oh, Lambkin. So pleased you're here. Lambkin. I'm glad that you're enjoying my gift. Mm. I knew it from the very start. You have a taste for noble blood. <clears throat> I wish to anoint you a proper inductee. Inductee? A knight to serve Luminary Mo. The Lord of Blood, and establish a new dynasty. What? Luminary Moog has strength, vision, and of course, love. So, what do you say, my lambkin? Gross. You know I always refuse these things, but I guess I'm gonna accept it so we can continue the quest. Continue the quest. All right. Yeah. I always say no to these. I don't like way. serving anybody. <laughs> Take this. Lord of Blood's favor. For your final trial, soak the cloth <gasps> with a maiden's blood. Normally, this ritual would involve killing one's own maiden and recanting the wisdom of the two fingers. But since you are maidenless, the blood of anyone's maiden will do. 
What? That's gross. What is it? He wants us to kill a maiden. I remember there is one uh, that we that job is already done for us. Um, let me see. Where is this noise? I'm sure I send you down the right path. There you go. Go to the uh, the one that is labeled. It's got a it's got a little message on the floor. It says "Precipice of Anticipation." We'll be going back to the Church of Anticipation. Church of Anticipation. Precipice of Anticipation. A zoom. Whew. I still think it's awesome we found all three of these imbued keys. I know. That is so cool. <laughs> Alright, into the church. Was there a dead maiden in here? Oh yeah, I guess this was our, our dead maiden, huh? For some reason our maiden is dead. I don't know why. Lord of Blood's favor. Gross. All of this makes me feel gross. Gross. Goes against my character. Or maybe not, I don't know. He serves the Erd Tree. Which probably just involves ridding this place of as many power hungry tarnished as possible. <laughs> um. Alright, back to see Vare. Did it let you do I, something? I soaked the cloth. Noise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go talk to Mr. Vare. Hey, Vare. All right, Vare. You did your deed. Ah, my lambkin. You've completed your final trial. And with this, you are a formal inductee. A knight who will assist Luminary Moog, the Lord of Blood, in the establishment of a new dynasty. Now, Let's see about that. Give me your finger. This noble blood will be an immutable badge of honor once it settles inside it. Offer finger. I'm only doing this because we got that thing that removes the Lord of Blood's curse or whatever. I feel like that's we're, why you, uh, I feel like that's why you brought us here. <laughs> we're an inside agent. We're, right? We're playing double. <laughs> Purifies the Lord of Blood's curse. Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh. Oh, you just have some there on your glove. You're just going to wipe your Okay. Yeah, he's like, "Here you go." Oh, good heavens. Clench your teeth or something. <laughs> What are we doing? Bloody finger. Never forget that feeling of agony. For it is what binds you to Luminary Mo, to all of us. <laughs> you have the sweetest scream. Um, my lambkin. They gave you a bloody finger? Yeah. Alright. Um and speak to him again. Oh, another thing. You should have this. Pure Blood Knight's Medal. A medal granted by the new Moguin Dynasty with the power to grant audience with Luminary Mo. Oh, let's go get I've this gone guy. I've out of my way to provide one to you. But you mustn't use it just yet. Um... Go ahead and use it, and I will join you. Luminary mode yet slumbers beside the divinity. We must endure a little longer. Ah, he's telling me I shouldn't use it just yet, but you know what? But you know what? What does he know? That's exactly what I was going to say. 
He just knows bloody fingers. Audience with Moog will be granted one day. Yeah, today. Tut, tut, today. I'm knocking down this door. Are you the king of invaders? Because I have a b -b -b bone to pick with you. Oh, I think I know where we are. Oh. Um, let me know when you're ready and you can open up that your world and I'll join you. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> you and that mace. Mm. It's been with me since the beginning. Crazy. Glo Ghost Glove War 9. Holy crap. Hold on, guys. Let us check this little this little field here. Oh, man. This is going to be crazy. Oh, we're going after the Lord of Blood. I am so... What the? Timely! Oh, oh my God. Holy crap, guys. Oh, there more than one? I think there's more than one. Oh my gosh, they're strong. Oh, these guys are really strong too. Did you kill that thing? It took a bit, okay. I did not feel Ooh. like I was doing much damage to it. Well done. Ooh, I'm gonna stick with the holy damage for a little bit. Right, this is fire, that's holy. Okay, yeah. Oh my gosh. There's also, um, uh, we walked past a, uh, there's like a thing back there. What you got? Not sure what's up here. Mogwin Dynasty Mausoleum. Map Mogwin Palace. Oh, we got the map. Which I can't access because apparently we're in combat. Oh, Grace. Awesome. So I remember at one point, uh, you had mentioned you'd pointed up and you were like, I want to go there. And I was like, ah. <laughs> I think I know how to get there. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is definitely it. Wow, everything here is really tough. Oh! Whoa. Exploded into blood. Exploding bleed, that's why I love it. 